Greetings, everyone. Bill here with Humanlytics. Uh, this video is designed to give you a brief demo of uh, the data cylinder product that we're releasing next week in December 17th, and give you a little bit behind uh, the scene thoughts on why we have developed this product for beta testing. Let's begin with that. Uh, data cylinder is developed as an end-to-end -end solution for analytics at your organization. So uh, we use a combination of design, of uh, data analytics, and of artificial intelligence. Uh, to uh, automate the experience of taking your data from your uh, digital marketing platforms like Google Analytics, like Facebook Analytics, uh, automatically clean them, uh, be able to map out uh, the customer journey uh, based on the data provided by these platforms, identify insights uh, from each of these customer journey steps, and then ultimately uh, convert these in insights into trackable actions uh, at your organization and be able to iterate and track upon it. So let's begin by showing you the product. Uh, it's better to show while talking instead of just me talking here. So we're going to first show you the account group management feature, which is getting all your data together from different platforms and be able to analyze them in one place, in one centralized account group. So to begin, this is a beginning feature that you will see every time you log in uh, with uh, Humanlytics if you're a new user. We're just gonna glance through the quiz here. So there are multiple quiz, uh, both about you and about your business. So both our artificial intelligence engine and our analyst who's working with your company can understand what your needs are for you and your organization. And you will arrive at this step in which you can integrate with Google Analytics, Google AdWords, and Facebook ads. Uh, for the first beta, we're only uh, doing feature related to Google Analytics, but we have feature in stock uh, for Google Ads and Facebook Ads uh, that are uh, gradually trickling in uh, as the beta progresses. But we are trying to get Google Analytics robust first before moving on to other platforms. So here, uh, I'm going to select the Humanlytics uh, Google Analytics account. You probably can't see everything here because uh, to protect the privacy for our clients. Click next, and voila, your account group has been set up. Uh, so Humanlytics are able to get uh, data automatically from all different platforms and be able to clean them and perform automated operations such as uh, classifying misclassified uh, channels in Google Analytics and make sure your data is clean and without any bot traffic or uh, other noises uh, before we start analysis. And those are going to be conducted behind the scenes so we can see it here. So after clicking finish, uh, we're going to be directed to something we call the overview metric experience, which is something that's geared towards helping you establish this metric map within your organization for these four steps, acquisition, engagement, conversion, and retention. So uh, to begin uh, showing you a feature, we are actually going to log out and go into the demo for uh, our Humanlytics, uh, just because we uh, take our customer data very seriously. So we don't want to show you any uh, real customer data for this demonstration. So a lot of data you see might not make sense, but it's for the best because uh, we don't want to uh, even uh, play with real customer data and pretend it's not uh, for, for them. These data are completely made up uh, and not coincide with any of our uh, customer's data. So to begin, uh, we're going to illustrate how we are uh, showing you uh, mapping out the first phase, which is acquisition. So for acquisition, uh, in customer's perspective, we think there are three steps. One is making your first impression. This requires integration with Facebook and Google Ads. That's why uh, we can't support it right now for our first release, but it's gonna be supported very soon after the new year. Visiting your website, which is, you can choose between sessions and users and become interested in your website, which is valid session and valid users, which is essentially non-bounced uh, sessions or non-bounced users. After you select the metrics, this in reality will take a while for us to analyze, but uh, we'll create this map for you. Uh, and the rate will be calculated automatically and assigned a name. If there's no name, just be one divided by the other. And we calculate everything based on a short-term perspective and a long-term perspective. So we calculate short-term in seven days, 14 days, 28 days. And for the long-term, we use a sophisticated uh, regression model created by Facebook's core data science team 
uh, to give you an idea of the trend uh, for where your uh, website is going in terms of different metrics. And then we identify tipping points uh, along your journey that you just mapped out. Uh, the reason tipping points is important is you see here that both step one and step three are decreasing by a different amount. But we think step one is the tipping point because a lot of the changes in step one are carried through to step three, which causes decrease. And if you see step three is actually doing pretty well increasing, if you look at the rate uh, that's called value session rate. So we really need to work on getting more sessions, more healthy sessions onto the website instead of step three. And the system will automatically notify you that. So you come in and investigate, uh, it'll give you a more brief analysis, but more importantly, it recommends goals that you should set based on the observation by the system. So for example, the system here see that uh, the page title product has been one of the uh, best contributor for positive change for your uh, website in the past seven days. So you should leverage this advantage to further increase the number of sessions uh, visiting that specific page. Or alternatively, there's a weakness that your Facebook traffic has contributed to 35% of your negative change. Uh, so you probably should figure out how to fix that specific area. You can also choose to set your own goals at your leisure. So we're going to click uh, select your this goal. If you have selected one of the existing goals, it will be configured automatically. So all you need to do is to confirm everything looks good before proceeding. And after you set goal, it will recognize the goal configured. And then you finish and we'll move into our goal tracking section. Uh, the data is completely fictitious here. So just ignore the data and uh, just look at uh, what it represents. So here is your goal overview screen that shows you all the goals that are active at your uh, company right now. By clicking the detail, you are able to uh, see this goal detail screen, uh, which contain a brief graph, which we don't have right now because we this is a fictitious data. Uh, and also uh, the action you've taken to move towards that goal and the recommendations we have uh, for you to take actions. So for example, one thing that we see is that page title product contributed to 7.76% uh, of the sessions, but it has been decreasing. So let's take action on that. And so there are two actions that we recommend. Uh, and then uh, I can add to my action list to keep track of uh, how well this uh, action has been improving my metric in that specific area. So we create something called a dimension filter for that metric. So you basically take a specific part of the metric and uh, uh, to see if that action's uh, impacting that specific part of the metric, the action will be able to impact. And then uh, you will essentially repeat this process uh, for the beta testing. We will have one of our uh, internal analysts working with you to make sure that uh, you are going through this entire process from uh, getting your data integrated to uh, analyzing your data, identify weaknesses, setting goals, and then taking actions. We're going to be working with you step by step to make sure all the recommendations we give you are good and you're actually following through uh, in all the action that you're taking and you're tracking them correctly. Uh, for this reason, our beta uh, will cost a little bit of money to participate just to make sure that uh, you're actually serious about the product and uh, our time are well invested. And right now, the price is at uh, $49.99 per month uh, for this service. So that both include the subscription to the product and also uh, one-on-one -on -one support with one of our analysts uh, through uh, chat, uh, mostly, and through email. If you're interested in a more uh, advanced engagement uh, with us, uh, we are open also for uh, consulting engagements, which uh, is uh, priced at a higher price point, but we are going to be able to use our algorithm uh, both presented here and also in development to help you improve uh, your analytics capabilities at your organization. So if you're interested in that, uh, please uh, just fill out a form on our website or reach out to me at bill at humanlytics.co uh, if you're interested. But here are all the beta features that we're going to release uh, for the December 17th release date. We're super excited about it. Hope you are as well. Uh, if this looks something that's uh, interesting to you, uh, please uh, sign up for our beta on uh, our website. Uh, and the schedule call with uh, one of our analysts so we can uh, get started uh, as soon as possible uh, analyzing your data. Thank you so much for watching this and uh, looking forward to talk with some of you soon.